right, everybody. Team Cage Muscle is in the house. We are here at the Lift Factory in Las Vegas. Myself, Chris Gethin, we got Uzoma, we got Fuad Abiad, all hitting a leg workout here. I am talking to you in between sets. We've just started with some hamstring annihilation. So today is a hamstring dominant day as part of our leg workout. So people generally start with quads as the mirror muscle. However, if hamstrings are a weakness, always begin your leg workout with that weakness, i.e. hamstrings like what we are doing today. These two gentlemen are in contest prep. They're just starting. I'm not, however, we're gonna keep it intense. Intense being will only rest enough for the other trainee to go and then go straight into it. Not much talking, a lot of action, a lot of intensity. We'll be hitting both volume and lower repetitions, but with a lot of intensity so we can target our type one and type two muscle fibers there, leaving no stone unturned. So we're done with hamstrings. What we're probably gonna do is navigate the area based on instinctive adaptation. There's a lot of pieces of equipment that we have not used generally in the gyms that we train at, except for Zoma, because he usually trains here. So based on instinct, we'll probably take advantage of some of the new toys that we have in the gym and take advantage of them. Let's hit it. adjusting my form as we went through and um, I've never had I've never been through a more brutal set of hamstring curls pretty much what I was doing um the, the change that I made is you kind of got to lift your knees as you contract at the end you got to be explosive on the uh, contracting part of the movement and you just got to lift your knees up a little bit and it really squeezes your hamstrings and I'm just feeling the benefits right now so yeah man we already learning stuff um I guess we got I don't even know what we got next but it's gonna be killer man let's get it wonder why we're one man down. So Fuad is over there with a massive bag of ice uh, because something felt, something niggly happened when he got down to the bottom in the hole of that squat. And that's not a heavy weight for Fuad by any means. I've seen him go much, much heavier, but these things happen, you know, it's freaky things. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason why it happened. And you know, there's an issue there. He could probably carry on but it's not a good idea for him to carry on. Maybe he just needs to take a couple of weeks away now from legs, make sure he has like possibly some deep tissue work there once the inflammation has gone down and live to see another day. So uh, unfortunately these things happen, especially when you've been training as long as Fuad. He's been in the game for over 20 years now and the guy is, uh, is huge, one of the biggest bodybuilders I've ever trained with. So he's got more muscle fibers uh, more muscle fiber volume than uh, I certainly do so there's gonna be more variables that can go wrong when you're that big you know and this is just one of those days but uh, it's nothing serious 
he'll be good. It's just best that he avoids the rest of the workout. I don't really like talking about these things when they happen because it's just a really disappointing thing. It's not, you know, it's not disappointing because my career's over or anything. It's just a, you know, these things, it's just a strain, it's a tweak, whatever you want to call it, a second degree tear, I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it exactly, but I've had many of these little things happen. Usually two or three weeks later, I'm able to get back and start training light or lighter. And then after four weeks, three, four weeks, I'm able to get back and start going like pretty heavy. Um, it just sucks, man. It's like, as you get older, you know, I'm 40 now, so kind of got to be a little more careful. And when I get in here and I'm training with a couple guys, you know, you, you your competitive juices start flowing. You start feeling like you want to train harder. And I actually wasn't doing anything that I nor don't normally do. I was still on the, I was still kind of on the warm up. I was only doing two and a half plates. But uh, I don't know. It could be the flight. It could be, you know, lack of sleep. It could be any number of things. But these things happen, and now uh, you just gotta sit and wait for your body to recover, and then you get back to it. But I'll tell you one thing. It makes um, it makes you appreciate it when you're healthy, and I never complain anymore when I get in here and train. Now I hear people say all the time, "Oh, I don't want to go work out. I don't want to train legs. I don't. I don't think I fucking said that in a long time because I know what it feels like now to have to sit out. So I never want to have to sit out. Here we are, but I'll be back. It's all good. That's how I'm feeling like this is all sweat right here, dude. I can't even like, you know what I'm saying? Um, just hard work. Working out with Chris is hard work. We're doing like every compound workout that this man can think of. <laughs>
down. Man down. You'll feel so much better after that, brother. Oh, what a waste of pre-caged. All right, so we are two men down now. So you're just gonna see me training. Uh, Uzoma's like thrown up in there. I think the volume was probably a little bit too much, the intensity, because I tend to train fast. I'm not the heaviest trainer by any means, but I train with a lot of intensity. And if you look at the size of his legs, he's got a lot of muscle there, which requires a lot of oxygen. So unless you're really cardiovascularly fit, I'm relatively fit in that way, then you can easily throw up. And that, that's happened a lot of times when I'm training with people. Not that I'm any fucking better than anyone else, because there's people out there a lot stronger than me, and train a lot more intense, but some people just aren't used to the intensity at all. Anyway, he'll feel so much better after he's growing up. That is a wrap of the leg workout here today in the lift factory in Las Vegas. It was a lot of volume, a lot of intensity, worked our cardiovascular system, and uh, we're pretty much cooked now, uh, sticking a fork in us. So, uh, what, what's your take on the workout? <laughs> well, I don't want to say, you know, you can't, what is it, what's the thing? Go for a from the glass house. I watched the workout, I thought, and I'd not hurt myself. I would have loved to put you guys through hell, but it doesn't really matter. You can't make it through the workout, right? So talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. You're right. So I, uh, yeah, no. For me, I just extremely disappointing. So what happened? It's just a strain. You know, there's like first and third, first, second, third degree tears. I'm pretty sure it's just a first degree tear, meaning it's a strain or a tweak or all those things are all those things scientifically are tears. Do you, do you think that because you've got so much more mass now, you have more variables that could go wrong? Uh, yeah, I do. I think when, when water fluctuates, when your food, food fluctuates, you know, the flight travel, gear, the training, the travel training in a different gym, and not sleeping properly in a hotel, and all these things I think contribute to different factors, because it's been a, it's been a while since this has happened. Like, I've been pretty fortunate this entire offseason. And, it, and it, so. it wasn't even on one of your heavier sets, it was on one of your warm-ups. No, we were still warming up. Yeah. So I think it's just, uh, you know, sometimes it's an electrolyte imbalance. It can be a, a different, a number of different things. So the good thing is it's not serious. A couple weeks, I'll be back training lighter. And then four weeks from now, I'll be back to doing my normal weights. So it'll be okay. It just, the, the biggest problem is... It's just extremely disappointing because today would have been really fun. So it just when you have a passion for lifting, it's not. I'm not upset because my career's over. I'm upset because I wanted to train with you guys. You know what I mean? So it's as simple as that, really. But he had a good workout. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was uh, I thought it was close to hell. <laughs> you know, I thought we, it's always nice when you get three compounds, and that's like when you get three and you know you did good. We um, there was a lot of past failure, um, past failure sets. I had Chris, some post reps. Yeah, I had Chris with me. It's, I don't really work out with the partner too often, man, so you don't really get those like past failure reps, and those are what really puts you in that that realm, like you're just really pushing past pain barriers. So you, like this, what, you like getting a spot? Yes, and like your legs why did, go why, numb. Why didn't he give me a spot then, man? My bad. <laughs> but you know what it was? You know what realistically it was? Yeah, 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 like you wiped me out, and I'm like, I can't even unrack the weight or add weight, and you already added weight, and I'm like, bro, like I'm getting lightheaded. That throw was building up that you saw me throw up. 
And uh, you know what? By the way, so that's the most that's the most throw up I've ever seen. Okay, <laughs> nah, that, that, you, that's a pre cage. I can tell you some cage together. Yeah, yeah. Some those two, you guys are more like. Um, I've never ever been a pump up guy. It's hard for me to be like vocal. Like, let's get it. One more. Like, I don't. In my head, You're I don't. Too chill. That's I why. don't. Yeah, something doesn't click for me to do it. But I've, I've been working on it because I it helps me. So it, I want to return it. Yeah. Well, whatever, so whatever, whatever like, comes natural. Because okay, I yeah. tried it myself. So okay, I don't cool. need any encouragement. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I've never been like that. But I'm working on being more like that. So yeah. Whatever. We put it this way, man. Whatever works. There's no. There's no right way. Whatever way gets the most out of your body. That's the best way for you. So if some people train quiet, oh, some no, no, people no, some no, people no. don't like some people don't like to be yelled at and okay, like okay, yeah, pushed yeah, yeah. and like okay. screamed at. Some people don't like that shit. Yeah. I had a I had a training partner once that literally would scream at me from like, the, like that. from the first trap to the last trap, <laughs> and I'm like I don't need this much screaming. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a little bit here and there is cool, but yeah, when you're failing, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like you look the first five, like, you yeah, it's like you're warming up. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, like, you, like, no, like, you look at Lee Priest, you know, freaky dimensions that I've never seen on a bodybuilder before or since. One of the most quietest yeah. trainers I've ever witnessed in the gym. Everybody trains differently. Some people train technical, and some people train emotional. For me, it's emotional. Okay. Like, I have to get angry in my head to train. At that level, Chris right? was like, bro, get your head in that shit, and then I like started looking at my feet, and I'm like, I'm about to push, or like, you can really tune in, so... Yeah. Vans that do that to you? I like Vans. Yeah. Fair. Um, I like Vans for everything. Nice like, and flat? Because like it's flat? Everything. Honestly, it's more of a style thing, but they just are convenient for the gym, too. For me, it's because it's flat. Yeah. Chucks, Vans. Yeah. Uh, rider, I have my rider wears, too. Yeah, because they're really flat. I don't like anything cushiony under my legs when I'm training. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not very stable. But yeah, no, there's no, there's no right way. I, I envy some of the guys that don't have, train with emotion. They train tech because they'll go, they'll go and they'll laugh with whoever they're as at the gym, but then they'll come back to their set and they're just as intense. Yeah, my friends right. always yeah, yeah, about I, me. I, I found out with Bob Chicarella. Yeah. Bob Chicarella, I trained with him for quite a while, and he'd always be talking, and I'm like, how can you do this? Yeah. You know, because like, I'm trying to be psyched up, and I, I have to stay in there. I can't come out and go back. I'm here. like you. Yeah. That's how I am. Yeah. yeah. And, but he would do that. Then he'd get into the set and he'd push on. Because people would look at him and think. Training hard. Yeah. When he can you look at his physique? Hard. Look at his physique. You can tell he's training hard. That's how. That's how it is for me, man. I'll dance in the gym. I have fun. But then, like, my friends say this about me too. They're like, man, you see how Uzi just be laughing, and then it is. He'll laugh. It'll just like. I saw it'll that. Start. I saw that yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, him and his boy were here training chess. And every time I looked over, he was giggling and laughing and dancing. I'm like. How did he fucking look like that? He didn't train hard. Cause I go. But he probably goes like. Cer- I guess certain people. Enough. Yeah, people turn it on. I can't. Once I flip it on, it has to stay on, or else it ruins my whole workout. Yeah. Even now, I was uh, I was doing calves and I was talking to you, and then Chris was like, "Is over? Like, what you doing? Let's go!" Let's go. Yeah, because I'm to like, me, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, bro. I'm like, yeah, I feel these reps, though. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you, I feel these slow contractions. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like all right, all because right. to me and him, <laughs> if you're talking during your set, you're probably not doing shit. Yeah. I feel you. But like, that's because that's how we. You know, you're right, though. Yeah. There is definitely yeah. like now. If I'm looking at my calves and I'm focusing more, I'm definitely more inside of the muscle for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm easily distracted and I can't multitask. That's I can only I do one thing. That's how, that's how I am. Too. Easily distracted. That's why I like gyms like this. It's not a bunch of girls walking around in booty shorts, and it's not guys dicking around on their phones. And so I can come in here and it's like everybody's training, and it helps me like get focused and nothing distracts me. So. Yeah, I like it when she wears booty shorts. I like that distraction. <laughs> yeah, but that's, it, your, that's your girl. It, it increases my natural <laughs> testosterone levels. Jack's just like... I feel it free throughout flowing. <laughs> Yeah. It's just the longest closeout to a video. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to close it up. Yes, sorry. Okay, so, uh, can anyway. Can I start over? I start over? <laughs> no, I like it all. No, 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 we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. So, you know, we didn't joke around. We didn't piss around in the gym. We're actually doing that now, and that's exactly how it should be. So, I've had my post-workout shake. I don't know about this guy. And uh, so, it's time to go eat now, man. You got to go eat. Security. Yeah. Great workout. Yeah.